Ladies and gentlemen, this co-main event of Cage Titan 60 is brought to you by Transformers. Own it on Blu-ray or digital copy today. This co-main event is at, at catchweight, scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. And we will see you all at the Cage Titans after party at Tapman on the Wharf immediately following these last two fights. And now, introducing first, standing in the red corner, with a record of 8 and 13, standing at 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighing in at 150 pounds, from Syracuse, New York, by way of tubing Guam, representing Nostos, make some noise for Robert the Real Deal Wustig. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with the professional mixed martial arts record of 12 victories and 5 defeats. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall and he weighed in at 150 pounds. From Eastern Massachusetts, he's representing Citadel. Make some noise for Shameless Don Shane. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this co-main event is Kevin McDonald. Man, this whole place is filled with electricity right now. Oh boy. We'll stick in the black trunks, Don Shane is in the white trunks. Electrifying atmosphere in there between these two co-main eventers. I'm, I'm catching different vibes from this right now. At one point, they're all laughing with each other, and the other point, they're just ready to rip each other's heads off. Big the one big two. one, too. Yep. Right out the gate from Worcester. Nice knees in the body. Body shots from Sheamus. Double underhooks for Sheamus. Those are some thudding body shots. Some thudding, some thudding, yes. Good balance from Wistig there. Sheamus is usually very powerful from that position and quick to land that trip. This time he's getting closer. Got a good angle and he lands it right to Mount. Yeah, that's where Don is best, right in that cage. I've been unfortunate enough to be on that side, like Ruth Robert Wistig is, and man, Don is so powerful with that little takedown on that cage. And once he gets on top, he is punishing. Wustig trying to eliminate the shots coming down by controlling the posture, Don. He's close enough to the cage. I wonder if he'll try as others have to run up it and create a scramble. I would not want to stay here long because punishment is incoming when you're on the bottom mount of Don Chanis. He tries. Don Wust looking for the Dagestani handcuff here. Wustig trying his best to scramble and get his back up against the fence. A lot of weight to carry on by Wustig here. Don threatening a choke. Don has a pretty solid angle there. It's not sure fire, but it is a threat. And he gets the double boots in. One thing about Don is he doesn't rush the submission. He's happy to just weigh on you and beat the snot out of you, knowing that the submission will come later. Yep, a lot of maturity out of him. It's almost like he's been here before. <laughs> Very content to hang here in this position and score some points in the dominance realm. Way to mix it up, going down body to get the guard down and land another little soft shot up top. Wustig, easier said than done, but Wustig has to try to advance his position. He's been hanging out here too long, having gone way on him and punch him in the mouth. Not great. But that is a tall order, because Don's control is exceptional. Constantly switching to for better and better grips, landing strikes in between. I think we're uh, constantly switching the arms to, to mix in the jokes. Yeah. It's tough, but the longer you're here, and I, I've been on the wrong end of this before, the longer you're here, the worse it gets. Better to explode and lose some energy on that process than to let him slowly sap it out of you. Because the other thing about Don is he's explosive, but he doesn't really get tired. 
I think we're right on cue for a guy in the crowd to just yell, get up. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, well, at this point right now, actually, it would be a good time to try that. Just elevate the hips higher than Dawn. Right now, yeah, exactly. That's part of the MMA bingo. You got the, the Ric Flair. Stand him up, you have to. Oh, there it is. And he is up or not. Interesting. Nice elbows fr from Dawn Shanus as he's about to slide off with the back crucifix there. Looks like he's going for some sort of crucifix position. Mm. Lustig, though, able to scramble up, and it's looking like he's it on a double leg right now. Don is, looks like he might be, is he under the neck? I can't even see I it. Do, I can't tell right from here. It, um, yeah, it is under the neck, but not a good angle. Not, not exactly Wustig's the right. Lustig's hips are, are nice and high, so that's probably not going to work out for him. And he doesn't have the right arm for that bulldog choke or the right angle mm. for the, uh, the rear naked, so he's kind of just Back holding, to the crucifix. He's kind of just holding on to him there with some uncomfortable positioning more than a dangerous finish. I'm surprised Wustig is hanging on to this. I feel like he should just stand up and break away. I was just about to say, I could be wrong here, but I don't think he should have tried to go for that takedown and instead address things up top to get out of that control point that Don has. Well, I feel like Don is actually controlling Wustig's right arm with mm. his leg, and now well done by just pulls though. I th yeah, I don't think he was going for that takedown. I think Don was trapping that arm with like a crucifix type of attack, and Wustig was stuck there, and he's finally pried out and finding himself right. on top. I kind of know what I'm talking about. I kind of know what I'm looking at. How do you do? Big nice. sweep from Don. Nice ground and pound, too, after that. Oh, Butterfly big sweep. hammer fist right there. Great job Go using that in. instep. Yeah, that being said, the solution, again, I've been here with Don, too. The solution is to just untangle, disengage. The more you struggle with it, because you see he keeps grabbing his hand, trying to hit that single leg. Not worth it, in my mind. Because his best success, Wustig, was he landed some clean shots striking, and it's not, I mean, outmaneuvering Shanus on the ground doesn't seem likely. And because when he did end up on top, he was swept within seconds. But I saw him land some great strikes on the feet, so I'd love to see him reprioritize and strategize to stay there and do some more of that. 100%. I think Robert Wustig, you know, I know he was trying to land those flying knees in that clinch, but definitely try your best to stay away from the fence with Don. That's where I feel like Don is so strong. Here we go with the flying knees. And he did, he landed a few of those. Well, he's made it through, despite being in a precarious position for most of that. He made it through the first round, and maybe he'll adapt a little bit to play to his strengths in the second. I understand it, because as you said, he's a competitor. He got taken down. He wants to land the takedown and show Don who's boss. Yeah, yeah. Finding his moments there. Started off with a 1-2 that had Don changing levels and closing the distance. So let's see what Wustig can do to make adjustments to nullify the ground attack. And I'm impressed with Wustig's conditioning. He looks uh, pretty fresh. keen and fresh, even though he was carrying Don's weight the whole time. It's that Guam blood. <laughs> he definitely improves as the fight goes on, I've seen. All right, here we go. Oh, big Superman punch. Covered some distance right there across yeah. the canvas. He threw that from Guam. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Andy. Covered a lot of distance, Guam far away. I thought it worked. No, it did. You, you've got the gift of gap. It was perfect. Switching stances, is nice. Robert. That was a nice jab from Wustig as Sheamus was time it, coming in. You know, Wustig kind of like shook off that calf kick that Don landed, but man, I think he's kind of already like, you know, putting some weight on there a little bit. Doesn't take many. Sheamus nice and tight with the guard. Here goes Don, kind of like showing those level changes. Good jabs. Wustig's been doing really well at range. He's got a good command of it and manages to land his strikes, but not be there for Don's power shots. Ooh. He's throwing some like, uh, what's it called? Nice got elbow from Don over yeah. the top some into the body strikes. Rock. Landed a couple of big right bombs. There goes that clinch takedown again. But he's right in the mount. Riding with the position, keeping the hips floating. Was to get his half guard back. Don is exceptionally good at passing half guard in MMA. 
His hips are so heavy, it slides right out. Big punches, followed by an elbow, rough. Yep, not a bad idea for Don to go right back to what round one looked like. And now he has posture and he's landing more strikes. Big short elbows there. Uh, accidental headbutt there. What happened there? Yeah. Uh, Sha Shane is uh, acknowledging it, apologetic, not intentional, just a, a mishap amongst gravity. Yeah, I think his weight just happened to come down with yeah. a strike or something. I mean, that is the way you get power, right? You drop your weight on the strikes, but that's <laughs> just drop your forehead into his face. Yeah, for sure, man. That's um, a time of which to recover, but... They can use your head to another level there. Jack Newton would be proud of you guys. Thank you, Jack. Administering the warning is Kevin McDonald, knowing it wasn't intentional. Definitely not. And here comes Don right back into that bouncing movement. You know, actually, to Wustig's advantage to take the headbutt to get back to the feet, it works out pretty well. Big yeah. right hand by oh. Don, returned by oh, Wustig. Yeah, that was a big right hand from Wustig. That was a heavy exchange from the yeah. two of them. Both of their brains got a little mushier. So slick with those trips. But Wustig's bounce, very impressive. Wustig, yep. Wustig needs to address that little trip that Don loves to do. Yeah, it's a lot about how if he sits his hips back and kind of tripods into the wall. Ooh. Ooh. He dropped Don right wow. there with the knee in the clinch. That right down to the knee did powerful. Don go. I don't know that if that shot. was head or sternum. It looked like it dropped into the head. It, it looks like. like the way that his legs buckled. Don's pretty sturdy, though. He's hanging on there. Yeah, we've seen him hurt and come back before. He's overcome some adversity in his tenure in this cage. Very mentally tough, very physically tough, but Wustig has him in trouble right yeah. now. Now Really Wustig. dangerous position for Don. Don's holding on to that ankle. Now he's got a good bite on that single, but Wustig is like one explosive movement away from getting some dominant back taking right mm. here. Now he's got Don in that crucifix. Man. Oh, big elbows. To the big ear, elbows. Too. This is like UFC 2 stuff, Big Daddy Goodrich. Yeah. Those Don, were all clean. Don trying to explode out. Did Don just try to kick him? Ah, uh, He might what? be going for that choke, Wustig. He might have that. That might be under the chin. He might just need a little bit more torque. He gave the thumbs up. That he did, and uh, wow. look at that explosion. Just broke the timing on that escape from Don. Right when Wustig went to adjust the grip, Don timed that twist. Perfectly. Look at Coach Eric Grossman screaming at his student. Talk about resiliency. Yeah. Don Chaney just went through it, and now he's already back into an advantageous position. And great finishing instincts from Wustig to be on the attack after dropping him, but just the resilience of Don Shane has proven to be too much for him tonight so far. Slick grip change from Wustig. That should be to his advantage. Short time left in the round. Don looking to make something happen, but Wustig has a scramble hand, gets up on top of the front headlock. 23 seconds of which to work, and he's finding himself in top position to close out the round so far. And a very competitive one with the only knockdown coming by way of Wustig. Wustig looking for some quick damage to end the round. Circles for the back, puts both hoot books it, the boots in. And he's got a triangle grip with an oh, arm bar. Arm bar. Wow. Oh my goodness. Don Shanis was cognizant in the defense, but he might have been saved by the bell. Yeah. We got ourselves a fight. Absolutely. I'm going to say that's one round to one round right now. Very well could be. Wow. Intensity. Journey Cupcakes through two rounds. What are you seeing in this co-main event, Barburner? This is uh, utter insanity. That knee in the clinch just shifted this whole fight. Yeah. Don Chanis did not look himself for the end of that round, although he did turn the position. I mean, he's inhuman. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is one of the best fights I think I've seen tonight. So been a Enjoy, crazy, boys. <laughs> absolutely crazy back and forth battle. We got the replays coming here. Let's see this knee right to the chin. It looked like bam. Yo, oh yeah, that was clean. You know clean, what? Clean right to the dome. I will say this, Don. As much as it works for you, a lot of the time. He loves to throw these like Multiple Rocky body Balboa shots. Oh, uppercuts yeah. the body in the clinch, and that is a disadvantage of what can happen though. Yeah, yeah, knees. That's the, the the thing. Knees beat punches. Elbows beat punches, and that's hard to be the shorter guy there. He can't get greedy with those. That was insanity. Wustik still got a smile on his face. He is ready for round three. He's trying to get the crowd going. Don hasn't kept his eyes off him. Wow. Well, that's a big momentum shift. I'm sure Wustik is feeling energized. Very nice. competitive fight. Nice job. Inside leg kick. Oh, Ooh, that jab is better stiff. Jab. I know it's a, I sound like a broken record, but I'd love to see some feints. Nice oh. jab from Wolstig, and Don Shane is closing the distance, getting in. Yeah, oh, he's got to get his head up. Needs posture there. Big flying knees. Those knees are no joke. This is looking Anderson Silva, Rich Franklin right now. The posture is the answer. He's got to posture up. I like that he, what he did there. That was better. If he could lock his hands down, that would be to his benefit. Getting nice and heavy. Don has great finishing instinct, but if I were him, I would take some time and just grind out some position and try to get ahead on the scorecards, recover a little bit, because he was taking some damage right there. Man, credit to both guys. Don knows exactly what he wants to do in the fight, but Robert Rustic has an answer and a counter for every move that Don's done. Don level changes for a takedown and immediately snatches up a Kimura grip. No, yeah. he might not have the submission, you know, but... It's still a threat. It's still impeding Don's progress. I think Don has him in a really good position here where you can recover, and the cage will prevent Wistick from being able to truly finish that. Yeah, sure. Don, Don could get to work here if he just uh, slides into that mount, postures up, and he could come away with the scorecard. Plenty of time to work and steal it. Oh, way to the top. Big sweep there. That's big for Wistick. Oh, short elbows from Don here. Don, much like Sam Watford, is, oh, very nice sweep. Much like Sam Watford, Don has great ground and pound hammer fists and elbows from the back, which he uses to set up his butterfly sweeps. These guys both have to have fire in this round because, I, like you said, you know, it could be one apiece. Nice elbow Two from nice Don. elbows from Don in a row. This is definitely where he wants to be. What do you think? Should he put him into the cage and risk the stand-up, but maybe get some better ground and pound with it, or stay in the center? I think Don's fine here. Hey, he's, he's grinding away and chipping away with some big points. Coming away with it, especially with the top pressure. Yeah, oh, that was nice. You know, Wustig's got to get the feet on the hips and start making his own attempt to get up, because uh, the closed guard is not going to work right here. He's had some good sweeps so far, yep. but Shane is... He might be looking for some kind of little Ezekiel there, but I thought I saw that for a second. But. Don constantly going over to those hammer fists. Nice. Over the top elbow. Yeah, he's got to unlock that guard. There it is. If he wants to get going somewhere. Mm. The path to victory is not in the center of the cage like this in, in, in Don's, in Don's guard, in, uh, Rusev's guard here. For Rusev. He yeah, certainly needs to change up the approach. It's been a little while right in this very same spot where Don Shanis is just racking up lopsided points. In a round that he very much needed because he got tagged in that last round. Yeah, good adjustment by Don. Body, 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 big head elbow. Yeah, as the fight goes on, Don's looking more devastating and devastating with the ground and pound. It's just exponentially getting a little bit more. The words escaping me. It's been a long night. But uh, I think he's found his rhythm there. Yeah, he's gotten a sense of what Wustik does to defend and has found answers for that. Whereas in the beginning, Wustik was more successful tying Don yes, up. Yes, rhythmic is the perfect expression. That's a word I was looking for right there. Yeah, Don's definitely settling into his rhythm for sure. Some pattern recognition. Hmm. 
you know, even some butterfly hooks, if you want to resort to that, you know, just anything other than this, you know, closed dog here. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that I, I understand how you could be fatigued after those exchanges, but I mean, Wustig is just not viable to win from here. And I think that by settling for so long and just doing little shots off his back, he has sealed the deal for Dawn coming ahead with a decision victory. Nice ground and pound punctuating the end of this round for Don Shane as Wustig trying to climb up with the legs for some sort of Hail Mary attempt of a submission up, but that would have been a good idea earlier. Yeah, a little yeah. too little too late. For sure. But Don Shane is able to maintain control in this third round and big shots. come away big on points. But we're still gonna await the judges' scorecards for this one. Don Shane is is walking around like he feels like he did enough to get the victory. But the most dominant round, in my opinion, in that fight was round two for Wustig when it came to the actual accumulation of damage from uh, the ground and pound to the back take to the elbows to actually knocking Dawn down with a knee. Close fight, and uh, we just got to wait for the judges' scorecards. So Absolutely. That's the word, he was the very close to finishing there. But at the end of the day, it's a numbers game, and uh, it's two rounds to one. Here comes the replay of some action from that third round. I wonder what would have happened There's in the a five round fight. From Wustig. Um, yeah, that was a very dominant minute. second round for Wustig. Oh, yeah. And that clinch, man, he was still landing with those knees, deadly knees, but Don made the adjustment, got him to the ground. Big shots. As he thinks he did enough, and he's getting his plumbing crowd going. Here come the stats for the fight overall. Don Shane is really coming away with the shots thrown in, landed a huge percentage-wise. Wow. Big with the takedowns and the control time. Definitely got away with most of that later in the fight in the third round. The volume right there. 158 out of 203 for Don. Yeah, Don just kept throwing and kept on going. Man, I mean, you know, I, I feel for Woodstick in that he definitely came closest to finishing the fight. Such a rally in the second round. And it was a well-contested match, but it, you know, it, it looked like he was really close to pulling the upset there. Yeah, a lot of damage in that second round, but Don had good mad IQ. And insane heart. An insane heart. Can't teach it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two co-main eventers. After three rounds of action, you know we go to the judges' scorecards for the city. All three judges score this contest. 29-28, giving you your winner by unanimous decision. Shameless. Don Shanus.